Hey there everyone, it's Rob from Hobby King with a quick tip video on LiPo batteries and what all the numbers mean. We get a lot of questions about what do the numbers on LiPo batteries mean and what do I need and blah 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 blah. So here you go. So I've got here with me a Graphene Panther 5.0 6S pack. It says 5.0 on it, that means it's a 5 amp hour pack or 5000 milliamp hour packs. We usually express um, batteries in milliamp hours, so 4000 or 2200 again, amp hours. This is again, 5.0 amp hours or 5,000 milliamp hours. It's 22.2 volts. That is because it's a 6S pack and each cell is 3.7 volts. So 3.7 times six is 22.2, .2. okay? When fully charged, each cell is 4.2 volts and that gets you a total fully charged voltage of the overall battery at 25.2 volts, okay? The next number is 111 watt hours. That's a whole other video. We'll get to that some other time. It's a whole other subject. Uh, we talked about it, so it says 5006S, and the next number is 75C discharge. What does that mean? The discharge rating of a battery, the C rating, is relates mainly to how quickly it can discharge into whatever you need. So if you're discharging into an EDF and you know those are really high power uh, items, you need a good high number uh, of at least let's say 60. So this is 75, more than enough for EDFs. Guys in my field love these things for their jets because they don't puff up, they don't get warm. They push all that power right into the EDF and it translates to faster flights, longer flying times, and healthy packs. And I also know this is a 6S pack because it has seven wires on it. So one for each cell, so six for each cell, and then one um, ground or negative wire, okay? So that's used when you're balanced charging. You should always balance charge your batteries, get a good charger, spend the money, get the right thing, the right tool for the job, buy once, cry once. And uh, so I have some other packs here. This is a 4,000 milliamp or four amp hour um, 4S pack. So this has five wires on it. And again, same kind of thing. This is a 60 to 120C discharge battery. Great pack, heavy duty series, also a really great high power pack. And then I've got one of the Nanotech Ultimates for my cars. I run these in my cars. This is a 7.5 or 7,500 milliamp pack, 2S battery. And this is a 90C discharge. And typically this is the nominal rate. So this is the constant rate of discharge. And you can go above that, you can peak above that, and that's usually double. So for a 90C pack, it's probably 180, um, 60 to 120 on this heavy duty guy. And the Graphene Panthers, 75 to 150. These things are amazing. All right, so hopefully that clears up, uh, clears up some questions you have about LiPos. Comment here if you have more questions, I'll try to answer them. And certainly reach out to support if you have any need for assistance of any kind or questions. We love talking RC, so hit us up. Have fun out there.